Georges de la Tremoy was Count of de Guinness from 1398 to 1446 and Grand Chamberlain of France to King Charles VII of France. He sought reconciliation between Philip, Duke of Burgundy and Charles VII during their estrangement in the latter part of the Hundred Years' War. De La Tremoy was a political opponent of Joan of Arc and Arthur de Richemont within the French court. Most historians take a poor view of his career, assessing that he placed personal advancement before the public interest. La Tremoy was captured at Agincourt in 1415. He regained his freedom shortly afterward and dedicated the rest of his career to court life and diplomacy. He made an advantageous marriage to Joan II of Auvergne, Countess of Auvergne and Boulogne. De La Tremoy served the Burgundian court for several years, then joined the Armagnac court of Charles VII. La Tremoy became a royal favourite in 1427. He gained the title of Grand Chamberlain and was instrumental in Constable de Richemont's expulsion from the court that same year. Following Joan of Arc's successful campaign to Reims for the coronation of Charles VII, La Tremoy delayed a march on Paris with fruitless peace negotiations. He may have been responsible for the lack of royal support that doomed her military actions thereafter. The historical consensus is that personal jealousies led him to undermine France's two best military commanders during a low point in the war. In September 1432 he paid for Rodrigo de Villandranda and his routiers to hold Les Ponts de Cie acute against the assaults of Jean de Buil. That year de Richemont returned to court and imprisoned La Tremoy. The following year, Charles VII did not intervene. His daughter Louise de la Tremoy, Dame de Boussac, married Bertrand via of Auvergne and had two children. Anne de la Tour de Ven, second wife of Alexander Stuart, Duke of Albany, John III, Count of Auvergne.